Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Neural Films. Today we're going to be continuing our iMovie tutorials and in this tutorial we're actually going to cover images, still frames and how to apply them into your iMovie project. Um, first I'm going to have these three images, I'm actually going to put them right below here underneath my desktop and we're going to use those images for our demonstration in iMovie today. But before I begin, in a uh, previous tutorial we covered a green screen, as you can see I used my basically my face and I put it on this background here and of this image and uh, if you want to know how I did that be sure to check out my previous two tutorials and uh, it looks like my iMovie just kind of froze up but oh, there we go now what we're gonna do is first things first I'm gonna teach you guys how to use a get a still frame and the previous version of iMovie you would be able to easily get a still frame from a, a project and like let's say like you have an image and you want to use that as a YouTube thumbnail or you want to at least uh, use it in your project like as a still frame and or as an image in somewhere in your project to make like uh, uh, something funny the best way to do that there's a uh, also a shortcut key for it but let's say okay I'm gonna pause myself right there with my eyes closed I want this I want that to be a still frame I want that as an image so you can either right click at that point and go down to add freeze frame or you can go you can go there we are my eyes go or you can go option or ALT on your keyboard it's mainly known as option and also a hold down option and hit F and it will create that still frame and there we are now we actually have a closed eye still frame and it's four seconds long you can go adjustments and actually change how the duration of it or you can just simply uh, drag it and change the duration of it of how long you want the still frame to be but yeah there you are you got the still frame now now you can put it up on top of your projects drag it where you want to be I'm gonna make it actually a lot smaller make it one point Hold on, uh, I think that's like two seconds right there. But I'm gonna drag it right on top here, and then now we can actually go to adjustments again. And we learned this in our previous tutorials. You can go to cutaway, or you know, go in as a. I'm gonna put it in as a picture in picture, and there we are. Actually, now I have that same image with my eyes closed, and uh, with my eyes closed, in the same image. Uh, I mean, in the same video that. I just well the main project basically I just took the still frame from this area um, I mean from I just took the image that closed eye image and I placed that up here in this clip now you see me with my closed eyes on the right hand side there now here I am with my closed eyes and there's two of me so I'm gonna actually delete that do command Z command Z command Z command Z command Z command Z and actually undo all of those options I just did and there you, are, you see I'm undoing and uh, that was a long time ago so there you are we're back there we have it and uh, we're just completely undid it but that's how you do a still frame now let's begin let's just get an image like I showed you guys the three images at the beginning of the tutorial um, you can actually here I have an image let's drag this face image right here it's a PNG so it's actually gonna be just the image not none of the background and you can see it's only the image it's not, none of the white space, nothing in white space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to go to adjustments. And we're going to go to picture in picture. And we are, here we have the image and I can actually adjust the size of it. Actually, first we're going to crop it because it got the wrong part of the image here. And I want, I want the entire face part here. So I'm going to go, I'm going to select this. And since it's a PNG, the black area, you won't see the black area. It will be completely clear. That's why a PNG is recommended when you want to like just get only a certain part of the image. And then you see, there we are. Now we only have the face. Now we're going to go back to the picture in picture. Select the picture in picture. And if you're kind of lost of what I'm doing out here, I do suggest you check out my previous tutorials or leave a comment and I'll explain. But uh, my previous tutorials explain, will explain further on how to do some of these things if you don't know where adjustments is or additional, and there you are, um, additional items are. <laughs> I just cut myself off, but there you are. Now I have a face on top of my face and the face looks like it's actually crying. Should should have got a happy face and we are to watch this and there you are. It's almost like you could put a troll face there or whatever you prefer. And uh, that's how you do images, you guys. Uh, I hope that answered some of you guys' questions. I did have a few questions that pop up regarding images on how to uh, do images and insert images add still frames but that's how you would do it and uh, also you can actually save these images and actually bring up these images in your finder reveal in event or reveal in finder and then, and then you can actually use them as uh, 
in a thumbnail in YouTube as well if you and then edit it from there for the Photoshop if you wanted to make a, add a, additional special effects. But yeah, you can just drag drag around the image as you please where you want to place it. And other than that, also I have the image here and I like like I imported it, I just dragged it right into the, my project and there you are, it imports the image directly into your event. But other than that, there you guys have it. That's still frames and images. If you have any questions, something I did missed with regarding images, be sure to leave a comment below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. Let my life be the proof, the proof of your